Lebowski, the founder of DAOs.fun, one of the hottest projects on Solana right now. For anyone who does not know, can you tell them a little bit about what DAOs.fun is and how it works? DAOs.fun is basically a launchpad for new DAOs that follow a certain structure that we call investment DAOs. So investment DAOs are DAOs that invest on behalf of your users. So basically, you would give your money to a DAO manager and a DAO manager would invest on behalf of you. Uh, well, people should go check it out. So maybe we can talk as an example case about AI16Z. Tell people what is the backstory? What is the lore? How does it work? Turns out that Shaw lives like two blocks away from me. So we just went for lunch. So I'm like, you should start something that is actually real AI agent. So uh, he's we just joke around and he came up with like, oh, like an investment DAO that's run by AI agents. It was 420.69 soul raise. We raised in 20 minutes, I think. But it was like early days of the platform. No one really cared. It was super organic. But it was hilarious. And then our volume went probably times 10 that day. And it just kept going up. And then when P Market tweeted, it just completely broke the website. How does this work on the back end with these agents? When these agents are making picks, like how uh, can you describe a little bit on the technical side of how that actually functions? We have a smart wallet. The agents control the smart wallet. So you can actually delegate to a, the, a part, an AI agent to manage your money. For now, you can delegate up to three agents or people to manage the funds. So that's just a smart wallet. It just executes. You don't, you don't need the private key of the admin to execute transactions on behalf of the DAO. So you just give your delegate keys to these agents and they can make trades for you. Can you uh, speak to a little bit of what the, the Jupyter integration is all about? So basically, the pools is how we stay alive because we don't make money during the fundraise. So you get all the tokens. We don't take a cut any any of it. We make money by being the first pool for the DAO and having a transaction fee on it. If you look at a total fee structure, is one. 1.5%, one third goes to stakers, one third goes to us, and one third goes to the manager. So that's the whole total fee structure. You say like the staker can stake as well to get part of the fees. How do they stake? Oh, they stake in the pool, right? They're providing liquidity in the pool. Now people can stake and earn fees alongside with us and creators. A lot of these normal communities are led by people who are, you know, people kind of like get attached to for whatever reason. Uh, interestingly, it seems like there are some communities forming pretty organically around some of the DAOs.fun agents have been created. AI16Z communities is super helpful for us, but we also, whenever a DAO gets listened, DAOs are fun. There's also a DAOs fun effect where they get a big community that helps support them. We've never paid any marketing, any KOL. We have like 45K Twitter followers. So all organic, word of mouth. And the community is pretty strong. The the last question here, like where does DAOs.fun go from here? We wanted to work on governance. So basically electing the board that could replace the chief investment officer right now and that runs the agent. So like it'll be fun to have that type of governance because these funds are getting hefty, right? Yeah, 60 Z is managing 36 million. So the treasuries of these DAOs are getting big and we want existing DAOs to fundraise, uh, be able to fundraise more money. That's the next big priority. I think certainly from my perspective, DAOs are fun is like one of the more interesting projects on Solana right now, riding the kind of like AI wave, but in ways that are actually interesting and creating new values. It's not just like ChatGPT has a Twitter and some guy behind the scenes doing all the work.